Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says in figure 6.30 if AB is parallel to CD, EF is perpendicular on CD and angle GED is equal to 126 degree, find angle AGE, angle GEF and angle FGE. So let us begin with the solution and we are given that AB is parallel to CD, EF is perpendicular on CD and angle GED is equal to 126 degree and we have to find first angle AGE then we will find angle GEF and lastly we will find angle FGE. First let us find angle AGE. Now as AB is parallel to CD and G be any transversal then angle AGE will be equal to angle G, E, D since they are alternate interior angles and angle G, E, D is equal to 126 degrees. This implies angle A, G, E is also 126 degree. Let us now write down. A, B is parallel to C, D and G is a transversal. This implies that angle AGE is equal to angle GED and GED is equal to 126 degree. So this implies that angle AGE is equal to 126 degree. So this is the first part. Now let us find angle GEF. Now we have to find angle GEF that is this angle. This angle we get when we subtract 90 degree from angle GED and this angle is 90 degree since EF is perpendicular on CD. So angle GEF is equal to angle GED minus angle FED and GED is equal to 126 degree minus FED is 90 degree since FE is perpendicular on CD this implies angle FED is equal to 90 degree which further implies that angle GEF is equal to 36 degree. And now let us find angle FGE FG is this angle and this we get when we subtract 126 degree from 180 degree since this is a line and both these angles form linear pair. So we have to find angle FG. Now AB is a line. This implies angle AGE plus Angle FGE is equal to 180 degree and angle AGE is 126 degree. This is given to us plus angle FGE is equal to 180 degree which further implies angle FGE is equal to 180 degree minus 126 degree. 
which is equal to 54 degree. Thus we have angle FGE is equal to 54 degree. Hence our answers are First we have to find angle AGE which is equal to 126 degree. Then we have to find angle GEF GEF which is 36 degree. And lastly we have to find out angle FGE which is equal to 54 degree. So this completes the solution. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and bye for now.